You do that again, you're a seat cover. Oh, never mind. My jailers are here. It's about time. I was beginning to feel faint. Many pardons for the delay, Lord Shumway. Oh, great food, Kate. You finally learned how to cook. My mother made that. Really? I'd like to meet her. Alf, I know you miss your friends and family, but we are your family now, and, and we'd do anything for you. Wouldn't we, Mom? I think we are. Oh, and you might want to run a dustbuster over this couch. I seem to be shedding. Alf, I'm not going all the way out to the garage to get the dustbuster. Be realistic, Kate. It's not going to come to you. Alf, I'm going to tell you something now, and I want you to listen to me very carefully. If you ever talk to me like that again, I'll punch your heart out. Fair enough. And the challengers, Kate, and, uh, uh, of course, Willie Tanner. <laughs> Woo! Hiss! Murder the bums! I thought referees were supposed to be impartial. That's it. Mouthing off. You're out of here. <laughs> now I have it under control. Uh, I do, as you can see. Alf, we're seeing more than you think. Who asked you? <laughs> I am tired of your breaking things. If this happens one more time, you will be living in the garage. From now on, I'll treat this house as if it were my own. Treat it as if it were my house, and don't break anything. Cheap frame. <laughs> well, I guess it can be repaired. Heads up! Oops. Why well, didn't take that hideous Statue of Liberty clock? That clock was a gift from my mother. <laughs> Did I say hideous? I meant lovely, as lovely as your mother. But why? 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 Because you're irresponsible. You trashed the house. You flooded the living room. You wallpapered the shower. It was a rhetorical question. Alf, I want you to take everything back into the house tonight. And I emphasize the word everything. And I emphasize the word tonight. And if you don't, you will be living out here permanently. I notice you emphasize the word permanently. <laughs> Alf, it's your last day. There's no need to wax the floor again. I'm free at the moment. And I've finished shortening your dresses. You shortened my dresses? Well, they are showing higher hemlines this year. <laughs> well, I must have overlooked the pattern. <laughs> Don't overlook the idea that you can leave this room. Good idea. Oh, come on, that's silly. Now, why don't we just tell Alf that he's won? Well, I'm for that. You've won. Won, ma'am? The bed is off. You can turn in your, your whisk broom and your phony accent and let out a big burp and let's get on with it. You do that for me? Yes. And then maroon you on the opposite shore. Fine with me. Stuck. I surmised. Sorry. Furry handprint. I see it. Leaving now. Good idea. How about you, Kate? I don't know how to spit. Come on, it's easy. <laughs> no! All right, don't get your shorts in a knot. I've draped him over my shoulder, I've laid him across my lap, I've bounced him. Eric just doesn't want to burp. Hey, mind if I show you a trick? The last time you showed me a trick, it took three weeks for my eyebrows to grow back. 
I told you not to lean in. What's for dinner? Oh, Alf, you just had lunch. Your dinners highlight my day, Kate. But then again, I have no life. Never mind, I'll do it. And thanks for not being petty about this, Alf. Oh, now I'm being petty. I'm petty and irresponsible. You know, in time, this could become annoying. Now I'm petty, irresponsible, and annoying. The mud is being slung today. I don't believe you are eating crackers in bed. I know. It's such a cliché. Could you be a deer and hoover the crumbs out of my fur? I want every single crumb out of this bed, including you. No, oh, it's almost 2 o'clock in the morning, OK? Thanks. Last call. Here, everybody rip off a piece and pass it around. We're all going to go back to sleep. You're going to stop singing and send the band home. OK, but I never got treated like this at the Golden Nugget. Yo, Kate. Where do you keep your casserole dishes? Why? The cat won't fit in the toaster. <laughs> Never mind. I'll make a peanut butter sandwich. Where's the blender? Try it without the blender this time. And don't get hair in the peanut butter jar. Rules, rules, rules. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. Did you say I should get hair in the peanut butter or I shouldn't? Just toss it out. The hair or the peanut butter? Both. No problem. Why don't I believe that? How often do you make promises you can't keep? Never. But you just did. You're a liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. Get out of here. Boy, you're pretty cranky at 3.14 AM. I hope you're more sociable at 528. Alf, we have been trying to protect you from the outside world. Your writing articles for a national publication kind of runs counter to that. Chill out, Kate. I did nothing to jeopardize the good thing we've got going here. Why don't we just set it down and let it cool off? Good idea. And maybe you could massage my feet while it cools. Or not. Maybe if you got off the couch and walked on your feet, you might feel better. Walk? I could hardly blink. I'm exhausted. Hi. Hi. It's come to this, Kate. What's that, Alf? I'm so bored. I'm interested in what you're doing. <laughs> what are you doing? Refinishing this bureau. I think if you listen very carefully, you can actually hear my interest wane. <laughs> <laughs>